Okay, Nahum chapter 1. Uh, a prophecy concerning Nineveh. By the way, I'll now tell you why I'm going to be reading this. Um, 25 years ago, I was really into Bible prophecy. Uh, well, I was into it before that, but uh, when Iraq invaded Kuwait in, two, in, in 1991, no, excuse me, 1990, it really lit up the scriptures, including Nahum. And uh, I and my family thought uh, it was going to be fulfilled around uh, the Gulf War, <clears throat> especially when the Kurds rose up. But uh, Bush, the first Bush, refused to help the Kurds and let them get killed by uh, Saddam's helicopter gunships. And um, it was dashed. And uh, I noticed that as time went on, the book of Nahum just didn't seem to uh, make much sense. It just didn't seem to fit with uh, the Gulf War. It didn't even fit with uh, the second Gulf War. And when the Psalm statue went down at the end of the last Gulf War, uh, I kind of held it, I kind of hung it up when it came to Bible prophecy, you know, and went on to other things. But uh, then last summer, Mosul was captured by ISIS. And now there's talk. I don't know if it's going to happen, but there's talk of trying to take it back from ISIS. And Mosul is right across the river from the ruins of Nineveh. Which makes me think that Nahum is talking about Nineveh in our time, which will be Mosul. So I'll read this thing and see what you think. Okay. Nahum 1. A prophecy concerning Nineveh. How's this thing uh, working? I'll check here. I'll check. It might be. Okay. <clears throat> the Lord's anger against Nineveh. The Lord uh, is jealous and, uh, and avenging God. This is the New International Version, not King James. The Lord takes vengeance and is filled with wrath. The Lord takes vengeance on his foes and vents his wrath against his enemies. The Lord is slow to anger, but great in power. Ah, uh, the Lord will not leave the guilty unpunished. Uh, his way is in the whirlwind and the storm. So, if you think there's the chaos of the whirlwind and all that stuff, God's behind it. And clouds and the dust of his feet. He rebukes the sea and dries it up. He makes all the rivers run dry, Bashan and Carmel wither, and the blossoms of Lebanon fade. The mountains quake before him, the hills melt away, and the hills melt away. The earth trembles at his presence, the world and all who live in it. Who can withstand his indignation? Who can endure, endure his fierce anger? His wrath is poured out like fire. The rocks are shattered before him. The Lord is good. A refuge in times of trouble. He cares for those who trust in him, but with an overwhelming flood. He will make an end of Nineveh. And it's ruins right now, but Mosul was right next to it. He will, which makes me think that Mosul is the new Nineveh. He'll make an end of the Nineveh. Yeah. He will pursue his foes into the realm of darkness. Whatever they plot against the Lord, he will bring to an end. Trouble will not come a second time. They will be entangled among thorns and drunk from their wine. They will be consumed like dry stubble. From you, Nineveh, has one come forth who plots evil against the Lord and devises wicked plans. That to me is could be talking about ISIS in our time. This is what the Lord says. Although they have allies and are numerous, they will be destroyed and pass away.
Although I have afflicted you, Judah, talking about the Jews, I will afflict you no more. Now I will break their yoke from your neck and tear your shackles away. So in other words, no more attack on is uh, no more attack on Israel apparently the Lord has given a command concerning you Nineveh quote you have no descendants to bear your name I will destroy the images and idols that are in the temple of your gods I will prepare your grave for you are vile look there on the mountains the feet of the one who brings good news and who proclaims peace celebrate your feast your festivals Judah and uh, celebrate your festivals Judah and fulfill your vows no more will the wicked invade you. They will be completely destroyed. Okay, now, see if I can find uh, Nahum 2. Continue here. See, how much time do I have left here? I might have to uh, turn this thing off. See here. Yeah, I better stop it here. Bye. And you know something? I'm going to stop it also. I'll read. Uh, <clears throat> no, you know something? I, I, I don't have to. I don't have to. Let's see here. Oh, you know, I bet it didn't record. I'm going to stop it and, and begin part two of Nam.